Hey there, Postal here. So I was going to be uh, making some videos with one of my favorite tier 8 premium planes, the XP58 Chain Lightning. Absolutely love this plane and for many reasons and, and I'll certainly go over them with you. Um, I at the time was in desperate need of some silver um, and I had the great fortune of having one of the um, people that were watching me um, donate to help me out. So I certainly appreciate that. Um, a big shout out to Red. Um, I would certainly not be where I am with uh, Silver if it wasn't for his assistance. Um, but I really still like this plane and I want to be able to show some gameplay of it. You know, I'll do some live gameplay today. I don't have a valid reason other than I like it, but I think I've, I've come up with one. Um, so I kept the P-30AJ you know, for any time I'm um, flighting up with somebody and they want to play a tier 6 and we need a heavy. Excellent tier 6 heavy plane. Um, it's right up there with the ME410, which I need to buy back. Um, but the pilot is pretty lame on this one. Um, I've taken the pilot and, you know, gone up the line all the way to the XF90 tier 10. And so the pilot on this has been kind of left behind. So what better way, what better excuse do I have then I need to help my my poor poor P-38J pilot get better. Alright, so something that you'll immediately notice about the uh, Chain Lightning it, it's very different than a lot of uh, the American heavy fighters. You look at it and you say, oh, okay, it's got the two tails, it's got the two engines, it's got some guns on the front. The biggest difference is though um, you know, I don't see any bombs or missiles, do you? Um, between that, you take a look here at the P-38. You think of the P-38 as a relatively large plane, um, considering everything it's got on it. Then you go to the um, XP-58 and it's a huge plane. Besides not having any ground um, attack armament, besides its forward firing guns, it has a rear firing turret. So you've actually got a rear gunner on this, which is unique for every single other um, American heavy fighter. Kinda cool because um, you know that gunner is going to be ridiculously good just because there's nowhere else for him to go so every battle you have is going to be building him up whereas the pilot you can kind of switch out like I will be today on the, using it the P-38J pilot. The pilot might not be necessarily as good as the gunner but the gunner is going to you know, be significant um, and one thing I like about, and I was really hesitant to get this, but I got it on discount. Um, and one thing I like about the fact that it doesn't have bombs and missiles is it really does let you just kind of focus on taking out air enemies. Um, it can turn into a pain in the butt when you're trying to flip a zone and you've already taken out all the aircraft. Typically on like command centers, you take out all the um, aircraft and you still need to take out something on the ground. Uh, but usually that's not a problem. It has four 37 millimeter guns on the front, uh, very large, or quite large for a um, an airplane of this period, and they're pretty short range, all in all, about 2,100 feet, 2,200 feet, um, and you know their accuracy is kind of middling. But when they do hit, they really tear stuff up. You can kind of two shot most planes that you come up. Um, most multi-role in fighters for sure. Even heavy fighters is three or four shot. Bombers is four or five shot, but it's very quick. Very, very quick. So I really enjoy this plane. Let's go ahead and, well, let's see what we can do. All right, so this is what I get for stopping recording um, into the battle. So I started one of the Flaming Shores missions. It was in the old trusty Rowdy here, XP-58 and it started off pretty darn terrible I just decided to stop recording wanted to save my I don't know my hard drive space um, and then of course immediately started to do really well um, I've only got a grade 3 which in this particular um, type of mission it, it, it's really difficult to get um, higher grades when you're not really taking over areas you're just blowing up other things. But as you'll notice, I made a ridiculous amount of silver. 
I did pretty darn well, I'd say. Um, almost had an ace. Uh, just And then this was um, attacking, not defending. You know, defending, you can get an ace pretty easily, I say, with quotes around it. Because, um, you know, you're taking down bombers and they're just going in a straight line. I wish I had recorded it. Um, just because that's a pretty stellar number. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and see if maybe I can do uh, reasonably as well with, uh, with the next battle. So this is the um, kind of attack that I should be able to get quite a few kills out of, uh, frags I should say. Um, just because, because of the wonderful things he does. Now, there's going to be bombers, and just bombers on top of bombers on top of bombers, and uh, the XP-58 eats freaking bombers like um, it hasn't ever seen food before. So, let's see, the last time I got an ace in this particular plane was on exactly this type of mission. So let's see if I can try to sneak something like that out. Maybe if I knew, there we go, which button to press. I don't necessarily want to be the first plane over in this general vicinity. But, um, I do want to be over here. Relatively close to the first. I do like this new map. It's just, I don't know, just cool. Cool river, cool mountains. You need big, big mountains on a, uh, any of these. Here we go. Oh, what am I talking about? We, I like the big mountains because it just adds some depth. It's not, um, you know, just wide open airspace. Hello, Maximilian. Let's see what we can do here. I guess we should clear out the um, defenders first, huh? Yes, yes, why don't we do that? Up, 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 going up. Are you gonna follow me? All right, follow me, dude. At your own peril. You're in a Spitfire. And believe me, I freaking love the Spitfire, but I'm not doing anything crazy like that. Of course, if I could hit you, that would make everything move a little bit uh, smoother there. Still gonna outpace you, man. Alright, let's see what we can take care of here. We can take care of an SU-9, I know it. I know it. Take care of what? Hey, look at that, rear gunner. Getting your money's worth, huh? Any time now. Nope. Bad, bad, bad. Ooh. SU 9's uh, making, trying to make friends, huh? Just to hug on me and kiss on me and love on me. Nah. Oh, it's an LA-9. Well, whatever. Bunch of nines. No, he didn't do anything except get the last kill in. We've got how many people that haven't done anything? That's super swell. And, of course, it's going to take 20 seconds to even load in. All their people... What? All their people are doing stuff. We've got bots, top, bot, Beavis and Butthead. No? Maybe. Never mind. Can I get over there? No, I definitely cannot.
bet I can take out this SU-9. I know it. I think I said that before though, didn't I? That was accurate this time. Can I, can I pull up? Thank you. Hey, Rick. Hi, Rick. like a boat. Not a very turnable boat. Okay. Oh, hey, look, our front is restored. Now we've just got a bunch of, um... Just a bunch of people in them. Let's see if I can get rid of these ground pounders first. And foremost... Fudge. Oh, hey, I, I thought I was going to freaking ground there. Hello, I'm flying sideways here. And let's get rid of this guy if we can. Thank you. Come again. We can keep this area. Make it that much more difficult for the fight the bombers to get through. Thank you. Who are you? Batwing? You're batwinging in the wrong area, man. Did you know nothing? Alright, now I might have, you know, two minutes to myself to take out some bombers. Yeah. Don't know why I got German there, but hey, whatever. Weak ones first. So I mean, this is just melt. It's like butter. Oh, shenanigans. Let's see if I can. Come on, get some, get some friggin' hit points back. Come on. I don't know if I'll survive this, but I'm going to try. Oh. Stop firing at me! Oh well. Tried. Get him. One guy got through. Yeah, it's like I'm doing everything I can, right? All I can do is what I can do. Oh, come on, you guys can't get this one little... Just It's just one. See, they even got a one there. No, thank you. Or did that mean he made it through? Let's see what we can do here. Who do I need to look out for? This guy. Let's 
What the flip? Where'd that guy come from? Gotta pay more attention, apparently. Oh, did we take care of all the bombers? Or did we? Haha, <laughs> like I did anything. Uh, looks like we took care of the bombers, though. Yeah, I would say so. Let's go destroy some planes. Don't need to waste my time on a Spitfire. LA-9, maybe. Rick. Ow. Let's go away from Rick. Oh, sorry. Not sorry. So the ones coming right towards me are the ones I need to go for. After I take care of this little Never mind. Let's see what we can do here. What in the flip a dip? Where are these planes coming from that are knocking my butt? Fair, man. Hey! Alright, so let's see what I can do here. If anything. I'm tired of Oscar hit me. Yeah. Some of his own medicine. If I can hit him. Can I hit you? What? Seriously? I love when I overheat my guns not hitting anything. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Come on, get some get some HP. Get some HP. Get some HP. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it. Slowing down to a snail's pace. Alright, so I'll take this time to circle it around. Hopefully not die in the process. Slow down again. Come on. Eh. Great, they're gonna kill me while I'm doing nothing here. Oh, leave me alone! 
I'm doing something. I just don't know if we're going to win. I mean, to be honest, I'm not even sure I understand the, the ratings on this. And like everybody on that one made it. LA9 is going to be toasted here. You've done what you could. Go I've done what I could. Got an ace. Well, I mean, that shows you. This mission, let's see how much uh, silver I got. So, the combination of this particular mission and this particular plane leads to that, even in a defeat. Now granted, I know, not everybody's going to be pulling in almost, <laughs> oh my god, almost 30 um, frags. Um, this is with premium, of course, but 323,000 without premium is pretty sweet, right? Um, and again, I know I led you know, my team. Um, I know not everybody's going to be pulling that. But it doesn't matter. If you were a 9,000 person, which you can very easily get in this mission, you're going to be making bank. Um, wow, well, I guess I need to um, upgrade. So the whole reason I've been doing this, obviously, is to get a P-38. Knocked up. Uh, not like that. <laughs> to get him moved up. Let's see. Let's get some of that accuracy. Goodness knows we need that accuracy. Good. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. I know this was a loss, but it gives you an idea of you know what you can do when you're trying to defend. You really need to take care of, if you can, take care of keeping the, um, the anti-aircraft alive. And if you can't, well, then this plane is made for destroying bombers, as you can see. And um, you make a pretty penny doing it win or lose so I say grab yourself the next time you get a chance and there's a discount um, grab yourself an XP 58 I absolutely love this plane and I'm not even a heavy fighter kind of guy um, but if you like the American fighters this heavy fighters this is it hey hey, hey watch what you're doing man buddy crashing um, you're gonna really enjoy it especially with this um, you know, with what's going on. What the heck is this even called? Flaming Shores? Um, take advantage. That's everything I've got for you for this one. I'll be doing some more XP-58 gameplay another time. I absolutely love this plane. And otherwise, I'll catch you later. Have a great night.